Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Melkar Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Salutation to all the Archeans, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, this year is your brother Yassad, back at you with another lesson. You know, from the chain that GMS prophetic vibration come. Will it edify to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai? So, this lesson here would be um, entitled Take Heed when, when, a, when, a, when a Brother is Reproving Thee. You know, because sometimes, you know, in your mind, you might think, Well, a brother own you too much or a brother you know dislike you but a hey, little do we know is is that brother pulling you up because he love you that brother actually looking out for you and some and just as well too you know is be the heavenly father Yahweh you know to to his son Yahweh shy using that brother to actually pull your socks up you know making sure that that everything is intact intact with you i tell you first i will bring out bring, bring this scripture out here um the book of ecclesiasticus or surah chapter 20 and those three it say how good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance for so shall thou escape willful sin. Yeah. How good it is. When thou art reproved. You know because sometimes. I mean. Sometimes. You might catch yourself going off. And, and, and your mind might, might not be so much. You know. Examining yourself. And a brother might pick up on it. Because we all go through stuffs we all have our challenges daily so sometimes we do slip and we do examine ourselves in in the time and a brother might pull up on us and and say well act you know i ain't like how this looking yeah 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 looking too bright here you know and sometimes you might be in your emotion and think well that brother on you that brother dislike you but not knowing that that brother actually showing you love day you know because it, it, as, as it's saying um hebrews chapter 10 and verse um no, hebrews chapter 12 let's see here Let me just some moment. Alright, come. He was twelve and verses six. It says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasten it, and scourge it every son whom he receive. He receive it. Yeah, because by you entering, entering into the street and waking up to this knowledge, you know, that the Lord receiving you. But, but what? The scriptures say, my son, if thou come to, to, to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And we sometimes we actually do get tempted and we get caught up in the flesh. Not not observing what is actually taking place that that we actually going off a bit you know sometimes it takes our other brother to see and 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 he go address address it because we know um exhortation and and admonishment is a part of the is a is a part of this ministry and i'll bring all the scriptures on that uh in a bit let's see um if ye endure chastening, 
Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. You know? So that is it, you know, if you are getting chastised, your brother coming and provoking you. You know, to make sure you, everything upright with you, everything on point. Then the Lord, the Lord not dealing with you. Because it's like, you use not to walk upon that thin and narrow path. You not being guided upon that, narrow, that straight gate. You know? <clears throat> then the Lord, it, it come like a, a father who do really business about his son he here want to instruct his son he leaving his son to stray about but that is the thing we being as as sons to the heavenly father so he gonna chastise us he gonna make make sure that we walk upon that narrow path you know um i'm gonna get here a couple more scriptures here let's see here. Right, in the same Hebrews chapter 10, let's see here, 24. It says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. You know, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Let's get here the. Um, Verse 10, 26, and we will go down into the interliner for the word provoke. It says, Strong's G, 3948, Paraxusmas, Paraxusmas. Right, and it goes into an inciting, an incitement, irritation. Yeah, that's the correct word. Right. The strongs it goes into incitement to good or dispute in anger, contention to provoke on to. And that is it when you constant you had a irritate your brother that that he may stay upon this path. Ark. You know, you're going off the ark you, 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 you make a mistake in that breakdown. That that not supposed to be so. You know, we ought to continue in what we have been taught you know you know and make sure you know that that we pull up each other's socks because in this shoot here we 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 run in we we run in together because we being one body we being one body in this thing you know you you and your and your brothers in this ministry we all looking forward to one price and we ought to have a love towards each each other you know as um in because in proverbs proverbs 27 and verses 5 it speaks of um let's see here proverbs 27 and verses 5 it says open rebuke is better than secret love yeah you know because this is the love that you're showing your brother because if you continue, you see your brother going off and, 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 and you hide it from him. Then you allowing him to, to, to go off and to sin willfully. You know? Because once somebody loves you, they're going to make sure that you're upon that correct path. But if, if, if somebody here loves you to, to bring, make it known until then, that, that is your enemy. He that's why you continue to go on that off route and and I tell you anything. You know what the scripture says open rebuke is better than secret love. So that is why when a brother might come out and and and, and be a bit harsh with it too. And be like, Ark, I ain't like what you're doing there. You know? You are to buck up on yourself. You are to examine yourself. You are to make sure, you know, X, Y and Z might be the case. 
you know you sometimes you might get any emotions to the way a brother might approach you upon the matter but you are the past side emotions because you are the take heed of that with a brother telling you because sometimes that as simple as that that could that right there by you not taking heed could 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 make you sift you away hmm. yeah um let's see let me get back at that that that, that hebrews 10 it goes on to say not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is but exhorting one another and so much the more right and and let's get down into that word exhorting one another uh, exhorting to call to one side call for someone right and this is something we ought to do we ought to call upon each other you know you might mm, talk to this brother in a in a, a week pass you call up that brother ask how things going everything good you know um um was he seen with you you know when i seen you again x y and z to address to speak to to call upon you know you making sure that brother in the spirit making sure that brother doing any videos you know he he he, he continuous in the spirit it's a which may be done in a, in the way of exhortation entreaty comfort instruction etc to admonish exhort to beg to entreat to beseech to strive to appease by entreaty <coughs> um, to cons console to encourage and strengthen by consolation to comfort yeah and that is it we ought to always exhort each other you know always put a reminder in our brother head hey uh, just now we out of here we just had to enjoy this thing we had to you know um hey, we had to push harder in this thing because we see the prophecies coming and they speeding up just as how he saw them they cracking down and 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 spicing up you know they moving fast we ought to crack up and and flame up just as well and push harder in this work yeah so just as he saw edom he he pushing hard we had to push hard push hard this word too and that that why that is how we encourage each other that is how we make sure each other on point you know you picking up each other burden making sure your brother that, that you showing that love to your brother as well all of that right it ties into charity you know you looking after your brother there to receive consolation be comforted to encourage to strengthen and it goes on to instruct or teach you know yeah pa. and this here is a part of the ministry this here is a part of you this is something that you ought to do within this truth it's it and so much the more as you see the day approaching so yes yeah, is more you ought to be with having a connection with your brothers you know boosting each other in the feet you know just as as the scripture say iron sharpness iron so you ought to continue how ha continuously having a spiritual conversation with your brother all that boost you up in the feet but sometimes you might be down in the spirit and a brother just come and and he he might even make a video and and you get uplifted off of that you know it's say for, for if we will full sin after that we have received the knowledge of the truth there remain it no more sacrifice for for sins and and hey i actually witness i actually witness that you know a brother going off a brother going off and and it's like brothers trying to to show them what well, act ah, drop that you know do study that you know and and here taking that reproof here taking the instruction and we all know according to in in, in um i'm gonna get, get a scripture in proverbs 15 
15 and I will start at 31. It said the air that hear it, the reproof of life abided among the wise. So yeah, you know, that is that, 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 being wise. You know your brother, so well ark, um, hey, hey, you know, well I'll use me for example, you know, I was supposed not my wife, right, picture and, and my brother let me know ark. You know, you shouldn't be posting a picture of your wife on WhatsApp and X, Y, and Z. And he explained to me the reason why. You know, because brothers could be lost in after your wife and X, Y, and Z. You shouldn't think. And I I, I stood fast with that. I said, hey, to what for that, man, you know. And I, I, I take that and I, and I hold it. And I know in my head, hey. I not going to do that again because I, I understand who my brother telling me, you know. So yeah, and and hey, and that is how that is how as the scripture say, you know, he that the air that hears reproof of life abided among the wise. He that refuses instruction despises his own soul, you know. So when a when a brother telling you something, and you you want to be arrogant about it you wanna why you on why are you always on me so you know why this why that you know your linear emotion you know um skyrocket and you're not taking heed but see that refuses instruction despise it his own soul as you you actually condemning is you you, you 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 um you you running off that road and a brother trying to pull you back on track but you thinking that that brother just on you that brother just dislike you but hey it's all is just spirit you know it's all is just spirits you know making you think that your brother against you not knowing your brother showing you love and trying to you know make sure you up it's a but he that tears you proof get it understanding yeah, so just as as the brother show me the scene concerning post not my wife and X Y and Z, you know, I take that reproof. I was like, ah, you know, I, I understand where you come from. I get that understanding. Now why not to do that? You know, um, same Proverbs fifteen and verse ten. It's a correction as grievous something that forsake it the way. And he that hates it reproof shall die. Yeah. Because and that is it too. This this aligns with brothers in the truth, you know, who might be going off on an instant and he just wouldn't take that reproof. Eventually the Lord is gonna sift you out. You know? Eventually the Lord is gonna take that spirit because you are wanna take reproof, you wanna correct yourself because you there's constantly willfully sinning there. When I when I brother telling you about it as it's saying um Titus three. Let's see in the book of Titus chapter three and verses ten. It says a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject right so right so a man that is a here take let me see let me see what it is before it's doctor oh right well this goes into a follower of a false doctrine, a heretic, right? After the first and second admonition, right? Rebuke or warning, Strong's definition, right? I'm up Strong's G thirty-five fifty-nine. Nuthesia. Nuthesia. Right, and it goes with 
when you see the Strong's definition, it goes into calling attention to mild rebuke or warning. So, so after after you was given warning, after you was reproved, and 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 you was shown the correct way, you you what? You you you, you reject it, right? Let's see, reject knowing that he is is such that he yeah, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sin it being condemned of himself yeah so so even because this here actually applies to do that in our other doctrine and when they confound when they being confounded right and and the the the, the reproved the the rejected and the ball nah I don't believe that and X, Y and Z it had to be so and I feel it should be so and X, Y and Z but not knowing they going off and, and actually rejecting rejecting correction there it's a knowing that he that is such is subverted and sin it being condemned of, of, of himself and it applies also unto brothers in each that that actually rejecting that, that reproof you know because you you, you, you you subvert and you, you sin you know let me let me get down into that with subvert for edification see right let's see strong's g 1612 x x trifle twist out to tear up to turn us turn inside out invert to change for the worse pervert or to corrupt and hey this this yapa because the, the you subverting going and 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 twisting although that brother might be telling you well you know we're not supposed to be marking we're not supposed to be this because even apply to to us although this scripture actually um, um, refers unto them with other doctrine and be reproved and and then when you show forth your 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 proof and and you actually reprove them, they they twist it up and be be like it and also and and um the white man write the book so I not gonna believe that and X Y Z and the continue on going off, but but same way too it could apply you know as a brother you know. A brother pulling them up and, and he being like why are you always on me you know and twisting around we telling them and thinking that he against you you know but what you you continue you know and you condemning yourself there you know because it's saying I'm gonna get the scripture here book of chapter 3 and Let's see here, 24. It's if for many are deceived by their own vain opinion and an evil suspicion that overturned their judgment. On point, you know, nail on head here. Because as I was just explaining, you know, you twist and think well and and, and think of it as a as a as a worst case that this this fella just on me because he did dislike me this brother just on me always has something to tell me but that is just that is just our spirit you know that is just be spirits you know plaguing your mind there having you thinking that 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 brother on you but not knowing that brother showing you love and and why you on the correct part right um let me see here surak Thirty-two and seventeen. It says, "Sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will." You know, and and hey, we don't want to be in that position. You know, we we had to take heed when our brother reproving we and 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 you know pulling we up, cause we don't want we sins to weigh we down. You know, cause hey, we know they remain it no more sacrifice for sin. 
after after we we you know we we commented the stupid you know so if we, we continue on are uh, uh, going off and I want to take you proof hey, we're gonna die you know because we are taking correction um let's see here Oh, Romans. I got a couple of scriptures again here to close off. Huh? Romans chapter 15 and 14. It says, And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye also are full of goodness filled with all knowledge able also to admonish one another yeah so as i was saying this being a part of the ministry as well to admonish one another and i'll get admonished here in the merriam webster dictionary it goes to indicate duties or obligations to to express warning or disapproval to especially in a gentle earnest or solicitous manner so so by your bro- by you you see your brother going off you, you, you approach him you know in a in a gentle manner well ark you know we we not supposed to be eating the the the, the, the duck because duck duck unclean you know, you bring out the scripture, Deuteronomy, X, Y, Z, the dietary law, you know, and, 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 and pull up your brother upon that. Make sure your brother on point to give friendly, earnest advice or encouragement to, to say something as advice or a warning. Yeah, yeah, pa. Let's see here. Yeah. First Timothy four and thirteen. It's it till I come, give attendance to reading, exhortation to doctrine. Yeah. Give attendance to reading to exhortation to doctrine. Yeah, and, and we went down into exhortation exhorting. To, to, to someone your someone your brother to call him out you know to g- give him encouragement you know and it even goes back to admonish just as well right I'm gonna see here the book uh, Surak to the 7 and 12 It says, but be continually with a godly man, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee, if thou shalt miscarry. So yeah, you know, and and, and this is the importance of our brothers always staying in contact with each other, you know, because our, our, brother, go, our, our brother go always, uplift you he go always make sure that 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 you on point that you not going off you know and and even when you're going through a hard time he gonna be there for you you know and if you miss if you if you miscarry you know you might be be straying somehow might be going off somehow you know your brother gonna be the one to pull up pull you up on your socks so he it is important that we take heed when our, when our brother reproving us. Right? And let the counsel of thine own heart stand. For there is no more there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. So it are no, no man that that you can put your trust in more than than a brother in the truth, you know, who, who 
day and sincere with you because hey brothers is, is actually we pull up brothers on, on 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 things you know because i love we don't want to see we 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 brother who in the truth fall off you know and 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 going back out in the world as it's in second peter 2 and 20. Uh, let's see for if they have escaped the pollutions of the world to the, the knowledge of the lord and savior yahweh shai they are again tangled therein you know we don't want to see you brother going back into the filth and overcome the latter end is worse than them than the beginning so you're going to be in a way more worse state than before right and hey you, you will be crucifying your house shy afresh so hey there, there there's a, a judgment for them them who who came into this truth and and, and turned back is that that is a scary thing and we don't want to see that before you brother so as same way we gonna pull up with brother brother and same way when we being pull up we ought to take heed well, yeah, I hope this little lesson was edifying again double honors unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone salutation to all the archaeums how they pushing this word in sincerity and truth until the next one shall one.